So, um, yeah, I will talk about models and dependability of systems of systems. And uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Professor Yanis Papadopoulos, the University of Hull. I lead a group on dependable intelligence systems there. And I will say a few things about this group. I mean, the summer is upon us. Uh, Nuno has 30 degrees there. So let me start with a nice picture of a Greek island here. It's the island of Patmos, which uh, where John St. John wrote the book of the Apocalypse or the book of Revelation. And in this book, the opening of four seals of a divine scroll releases four horsemen of the Apocalypse, bringing catastrophes upon the, the earth. And here also you can see Pandora opening the mythical box, releasing war, famine, all the disasters, and only managing to keep hope at the end inside for us. So why do I do these apocalyptic um, uh, images in the start of my presentation? Because AI today is seen as existential risk, and rightly so, I think. And we have people, serious people like Nick Bostrom, for example, and many others, which claim that superintelligence could be a possibility and take over the planet and marginalize humanity. But even if not, there is a grand challenge for trustworthy intelligence systems and trustworthy AI. And the implications, of course, for us are enormous. So, at HAL, in the Dependable Intelligence Systems Group, which I lead, for many years we have been doing world-class research on software and systems targeting dependability, including of AI. And we have been pioneering not only novel techniques, but also state-of-the-art tools, some of them commercial with academic and industrial impact. And this impact in the last two refs at least has been ranked as internationally excellent. I, I put some links to the impact cases so you can click and see what we do. So what is the motivation in context of this research? We look, on we look at dependability, which is an umbrella term that covering safety, reliability, availability, security, many attributes. And we know, of course, that there are increasing concerns about the dependability of new systems, which brings me to the four horsemen of the apocalypse. In other words, the four big challenges which I very conveniently have packed under the acronym CIAO, meaning high, of course, in Italian, complexity, intelligence, autonomy, and openness of systems of systems and their unpredictability. So I'm not going to talk about all this. 15 minutes is not enough. I will just say intelligence. Why is it a challenge? Because machine learning components, for example, they have behavior that it is not designed, it's not programmed, it's learned. And this is not how we do safety analysis, we, we, we need models and, and programs to analyze. So it's, it's big challenges here. This CIAO challenge affects many emerging systems, including multi-robot systems, cooperative swarms, intelligence systems of systems in transport, health, manufacturing, you name it. So in the University of Hull, we develop a number of technologies that we think can help with these challenges. So for complexity, we develop a technique called hip hops, which is a method, but also a tool for automated dependability analysis and optimization of design of dependable systems. We develop for intelligence a technique called SafeML, which is a technique that can estimate a degree of confidence on the accuracy of machine learning algorithms by detecting distributional shifts between operational data on one hand and training data on the other hand. And for autonomy and openness, we developed something called EDDIs, which are executable digital dependability identities, executable model-based safety monitors for runtime dynamic assurance in systems of systems, not design time, runtime. So uh, I will talk about hip hops and EDDIs very briefly. This is not model-based in the traditional sense, but these are. So let me talk about hip hops and hip hops is a method and tool and it spans the life cycle of systems engineering. So we support a safety driven mode of design for dependable systems, which starts early and in which safety requirements for the system as a whole are allocated to subsystems and components during refinement using metaheuristics. So we automate this allocation of requirements. In hip hops, we can also do model-based safety and reliability analysis, which is largely automated and verify safety reliability requirements. If the requirements are not met, we can also do optimization of system architecture and maintenance using metaheuristics with safety reliability cost as objectives. And we can also support 
the production of certification artifacts like safety cases and operational monitoring. So let me briefly explain the concept of hip hops. So we bring in the center stage of the assessment process a model of the system which has components and material energy and data transactions between those components. They are very common models. This can be hierarchical to manage complexity. And in some recent versions, we also introduced state machines as well to describe behavior. And the first thing we do is we annotate those models with local models of failure logic of components, how components locally fail. So here we have sets of expressions which say that, for example, an omission of an output is caused by the component failed or omission of certain inputs, this kind of logic. And once we have plugged this model, these models of failure into the model, the design model, then we can execute algorithms in order to determine how the local failures, component failures that we have specified, logically propagate and cause system failures those that we are interested to identify and analyze. So if you were analyzing steer by wire system like this one for Volvo, I have done some analysis. The system failures are loss of steering, incorrect steering, reverse steering. And then you have here sensor, actuator, and controller failures that can contribute to those. Now, this graph here, you can do logical and probabilistic analysis on this graph, and you can calculate reliability and availability. You can do all sorts of analysis that you do in safety analysis. And you can also strip the intermediate logic from the graph and effectively convert into a multiple failure mode, failure modes and effects analysis, FMEA. And this analysis for each component and for each failure mode will give you if there is an effect or more effects on the system and whether it is caused by the failure mode itself or in conjunction with other failure modes. So this is what HipHops does, but it does more things. So for example, HipHops can also do evolutionary design optimization. Imagine that you are designing a system, you have created a model, you subject it to analysis, and the tool tells you it's not good. In HipHops, you can explore improvements on this model automatically. How do you do that? By making the model variable and introducing options. So this box, for example, could be a sensor that has more, more than one implementation. It could be a sensor from Bosch or from Siemens. This box could be a sub-architecture, let's say the braking system. And you can have two options designed by designer A or B. One can have more fault tolerance. It could have a more intelligent design. You put these options into the model with failure, cost, weight, other characteristics, and you supply it to hip hops. And hip hops now will explore this design space because effectively here you have a design space now and we'll do it with genetic algorithms so initially we'll resolve the variability of the model and we we'll create candidate designs a population it will evaluate each candidate design according to the parameters of this optimization cost weight dependability it will recalculate fault trees if necessary here to for its candidate design and then it will rank designs for multiple objectives, it will create Pareto fronts, Pareto surfaces, and it will select using roulette selection some of the best designs, breed between them as we do in genetic algorithms, create a new population of designs, and subject it to the same process. And it will do that for generations upon generations until it arrives at a set of optimal or near optimal models which give better trade offs between the parameters of the optimization. And uh, we know that these are better than this because mathematically we can prove that we have better fault trees, for example. So um, we can do optimization of design and we can also do allocation of safety requirements according to standards like automotive standards or aerospace standards. There are safety standards, modern safety standards, which prescribe a particular process. And according to this process, you should start very early and embed safety into the design. So you should examine the system as a black box and derive safety requirements for its functions. And then as you decompose and develop an architecture of subsystems and components, you should interpret these safety requirements as integrity requirements for these subsystems and components. So that when you put together the components and the subsystems with their integrity, and the assumptions that you have made about how they detect or propagate failures, you get the safety requirements for the system. 
Now, this is not trivial and it is an optimization problem and cost optimality is important. So, hip hops enables automatic cost optimal allocation of system safety requirements to subsystems and components using model based techniques and meta heuristics. And cost optimality is important because you don't want to allocate high integrity requirements to a component that is software and has thousands upon thousands of lines of code because it will be extremely expensive to develop. But we can do that using model based techniques and optimization. Now, in the context of this work, we have done something which was quite funny. We developed a meta heuristic which captures the social intelligence of penguins and we uh, applied it to safety engineering problems with success, with good performance. And the global media here has captured some of these and it went viral at some stage to the BBC and other uh, media and created some funny titles um, like, for example. Sorry. Ah, it, yeah. Ah. So robot penguins zap cyber threat was one of the articles. Another one was philosophical <clears throat> penguins, uh, whatever, uh, improve smart cars. And you can click, I'll give the presentation. You can click here and you can see the, um, the articles, but it's, it's quite an interesting thing. So another thing that hip hops does is create safety cases and safety arguments for certification. This is experimental functionality. But the idea here is that the standards, the safety standards have an implicit pattern for arguing safety that we have captured and we can automatically produce it here. And according to this pattern, a system is safe because it meets its safety requirements, which are derived through exhaustive risk analysis, because the subsystems meet their correctly allocated integrity requirements that we have done and we know it is correct. And all the model assumptions that underpin this allocation, like how components propagate or mitigate failure have been met. We can prove of that as well. And this is true because components meet the correctly allocated integrity requirements and all model assumptions are also met at this level. And there is evidence for the above. Now, the advantage of this is that it's an electronic safety case. So it is possible to query this. It is possible to change it, to modify it. Uh, it is a much more advanced form than what is used today, which is documents and manually constructed safety arguments. So there is a tool to do all this. And here you can see an interface, the, the, the user interface in one of the incarnations of the tool. The technology has transferred with global reach. So Honda, Toyota, Continental, Volvo, Embraer, Honeywell are some of our users. Here I have listed three incarnations of the tool, one produced by the University of Hull, which are all commercial as well. Um, a, a version by a company in Germany, a version by a company in Finland. And I will finish hip hops because I don't have much time. I will talk a little bit now about the challenge of autonomy and openness in system of systems because hip hops will not address this challenge. The dimensions are many and very difficult. So in autonomous systems, there are no operators to take over when autonomy fails. In system of systems, there's an infinity of configurations. The systems are open. Uh, they can reconfigure in different ways. It is impossible to enumerate all configurations and analyze them a priori at design time for safety. You can have emergent behaviors and uncertainties, higher security threats, etc. So the implication for me, at least as, uh, in, as I see things, is that at least part of the dependability assurance needs to be moved in the future from design time, as it is now, to runtime. And for that reason, we have developed something called executable digital dependability identities. I developed this with partners in Europe. They are executable models of dependability. Imagine them as safety monitors, collaborative, for components and systems in open systems of systems. And the models that we make executable in this framework are causal models derived from safety assessment they describe co uh, causal relationships between failures and effects. Models like Bayesian nets, fault trees, Markov models, hierarchical state machines, state sensitive fault trees. And here is the architecture of an EDDI. You can see it here. You can imagine this as a component sitting on a system and every system in a system of systems. 
So every system will have one of those and they collaborate between them. So an EDDI will have an event monitor that will detect significant events, faults, for example, that should trigger the process. Some of them will be unambiguous, some of them may require diagnosis. When the events become clear, we pass them to a high level reasoning application, which executes those causal models, Markov models, Bayesian nets, hierarchical state machines, to provide alarms, diagnostics, projection of effects of failure, calculation of risk, and guidance on corrective action. Now, the important thing here is that these EDDIs are not isolated, but they communicate with the EDDIs of other components in this, or other systems in a system of systems. So we have a heterarchical architecture here. Each one of those EDDIs can have its own safety goals, which will be satisfied by local observations of health, but also by guarantees that may be provided by other components. So it's a completely different idea about assurance and certification from what we have now. Now, this is totally unpublished. I'm presenting it to you here for the first time. It's my vision of how assurance can be done in the future in systems of systems. A hierarchical, hierarchical analysis and assurance of safety and security for systems of systems. And because I have two H's, two A's and two S's, the acronym is HES squared. I won't say more about that. It will take another 10 minutes to explain it. I leave it here. So um, just the point is that this, for example, could be um, a significant component in a research proposal. So which brings me to my last slide. It is an event of an MDE network. So the idea here is about enabling networking, and I'm happy to discuss potential collaborations. Hip Hops has flexible interfaces that makes it usable as a research engine, and it has been used and it's being used in many research projects. EDDI meta models, because they are models, yeah, and SafeML, which maybe not no model based, but it can be very useful in this context, are in the public domain. And why would you want to use those? Because I think they offer some new capabilities for dependability assurance in systems of systems, and they can flexibly fit lots of emerging application contexts where dependability is paramount. So at this note, I finished and I thank you.